South Africa is such a, you know, such a beautiful country uh, physically that, um, you know, land is a powerful, a powerful thing. You must get your land back. It's not about whites. It's not about blacks. It's about the very fact that we are landowners, that we own land, we have rights in terms of the Constitution. I tried to, I wanted them to, both sides, to tell their story, and that to lead people through the film. Commercial white farmers. All that they want is to make profits. While we don't have anywhere to live, we want our land back, and we want it now. In a couple months, it's going to be the World Cup. Um, and all eyes are going to be on, on South Africa. There's already been a lot of reporting about the big stadiums that they're building, um, putting all this money into, into uh, you know, building these big stadiums while people still don't have um, electricity or water or houses or land. Hi, everyone. How's everybody doing? Thanks for coming. Uh, my name is John Shadlovsky, and you're in for a real treat tonight to see the film that uh, Yoruba Richin came to us. We gave her a grant about four or five years ago. She went to South Africa and started filming on uh, some really interesting stories. She's gone back a couple of times. She'll tell you about that. This is an issue that is relevant around the world. Um, South America, Asia, the Middle East, land, how we deal with, uh, in post-colonial societies, um, returning land, uh, reconciliation, and, um, and race. Apartheid was based on land reform. That's what I found when I, when I started this. It was based on a land policy. In 1913, you know, as the film talks about, that's when blacks were dispossessed of land. That was the first act. Apartheid wasn't, then the official apartheid system came in 1949, but the, the, the basis of dispossession, you know, and again, it's all through Southern Africa, Zimbabwe, Namibia, um, South Africa was about land. I thought it did a really good job of showing us the points of view of both the black South Africans filing the land claim, saying we want our land back, and of the white South Africans, uh, one of whom at least was saying, my father had this land, my grandfather, my great-grandfather. Now one could ask for how many generations had the black families had the land, probably more than three or four or five. But I thought it was just an excellent piece of work. I would encourage everyone to see it.